and welcome to Coach Mel's Group Fitness. So today I am bringing you kettlebell for seniors. Now I say it's for seniors, but I will tell you that this is a very advanced class. Um, so it's definitely good for anyone. Um, the other thing, so two things. Kettlebell is what you need. Now, can you do this with a hand weight? Yes, you can. There's just sometimes when we're swinging and making transitions that you gotta be really careful with that hand weight. Um, and the other thing is I'm not gonna have any music playing. YouTube has a lot of rules about having music um, in the videos. So I'm gonna do everything for reps, which might be a little bit different for those of you who take my live classes because we're used to doing it with the music and my timing isn't gonna be quite the same on some things, but I will tell you this, it is a full body workout from head to toe. We'll do a little cardio. Now, the other thing that you're gonna need is a chair. Make sure that it is not a folding chair and that it is not on wheels. We are gonna use this for the very last portion to work some abs and work the chest. So make sure that you have that ready, but off to the side for right now. We will be using that later. All right, we're gonna start right here with a warm up. So we're gonna hold that kettlebell with two hands. You only need one kettlebell. We don't ever use two. We either work one side, the other side, or like we're gonna do in this warm up, we hold with our hands together. All right, let's get started. So we're gonna start with a nice tilt side to side of the neck and get a good stretch there. Hold it there at the side just for a moment. Good, and now we're gonna turn. That chin is going out over the shoulder, out over the other shoulder. Make sure you have some water ready. Should have mentioned that earlier. We take very short breaks in this. Like I said, it is a high level class. We will be standing for about 95% of the class. All right, let's roll those shoulders. We're gonna pull them up, back, and down. Up, back, and down. Good, big roll of the shoulders. And now let's change to the opposite direction. Good, let's get two more and one. All right, bring that bell to the side. We're gonna run it right down the side and do a nice little hinge. That elbow is going towards the hip and back up. Good, let's get four more. Three, two, and last one. We're gonna switch that over to the other side. Whenever you switch, make sure that you're doing it not right over your feet. We don't want it to accidentally fall. Good, hinge to the side, pull yourself up. Let's get four more here. And three, two, last one. All right, we're gonna bring those hands up to the center. We're just gonna do a nice, easy two-handed bicep curl. So keep the elbows right by your side, underneath your shoulder, all the way out, all the way up. Nice and controlled, we're just warming up. We do use the same kettlebell throughout all the routines here. There's not really time to switch. So make sure that you go in something that's on the lighter side. We're gonna go up overhead down and then all the way down in that curl. Up, up, down, and down. Good, two more. Up, up, down, and down. Last one. Up, up, down. Stay at your chest with that weight. We're gonna do a little squat. Pull that knee up and roll it out. Get those hips warmed up. Little squat, pull that knee up and roll it out. Good. Nice, gentle here. We're not moving too fast here. We're just getting everything warmed up for when we get into the actual workout. Good. Sink down into your heels, up and out. Let's get one more on each side. Last one. All right, we're still holding that weight with two hands. We're gonna take a step back. Now rotate a little bit over that front knee. Come back up, step out, bend that back knee, little rotation. Good, step back, rotate. Let's keep that going for a few more. Rotate, up, back, rotate. And last one. All right, we're gonna bring our feet 
out nice and wide. Toes are facing forward. Again, we're still holding that with two hands. Little side, up to the center, and side. Sinking into the heel, little bounce, little hinge forward. You want to feel this little stretch in that inner thigh and pushing up through the glutes. Good. Let's get one more on each side. And last one. All right, and a little work for the shoulder. So we're going to hinge forward a little bit here, show you from the side. We're just going to make some circles. Just let that rotate right from your shoulder. Come around. Try not to hit your knee. And go the other way. And I say that because I just did. Just lightly though. All right, let's bring that over to the other side. If this bothers your back at all, you can skip this. You do want to hold your abs nice and tight. And let's bring it back the other way. Around we go. All right, so we will just have very small breaks as I transition to one set of moves to the other. We will rotate a lot of times, do some upper, do some lower. Um, sometimes we'll do both in the same routine, but not always. So go ahead and grab a quick drink and we are going to get started. There's not much starting, stopping from here. All right, so we're going to start in that split stance. We're going to do a lunge pulse, which means we're going to keep that foot back there. When we come up at the top of that lunge, we're going to curl that bicep. Here we go. Down, and now curl. Keep good form there, and curl. We have two more. Down, and curl. One more. Down, and curl. Keep that up there. We're going to swing down. Grab it up at the top. So I'm switching hands. Leaving that other one up at the top. Letting it swing down and come up. Abs are nice and tight here so your body stays still. One hand to the other. All right, last one. We're going to go back into that reverse now on the other side. Sink down and curl. We've got four on this side. Down and curl. Down and curl. One more time. Down and curl. Hand to hand swing. Swing it back and up. So if you're doing this in your home, make sure that you don't have anything too close behind you. Again, this is a tough one to do with a dumbbell, but you can absolutely do it. Just slow the motion down, bring that hand up in front, switch it in front, and then bring the other hand. All right, we're gonna bring those hands in. We're coming up halfway, all the way up, down, and down. Up, up, down, and down. Keep that going. Elbows close to each other as you come up, and then they spread out to go down by your sides. Up, up, down, and down. Let's get two more here. Up, up, down, and down. Last one. Up, up, down, and down. We're going to go back into that reverse lunge with bicep curl. So lunge and curl. Lunge and curl. Weight is in the front heel, back toe. Sink down and up. We have one more here. We're going to keep that bell up at the top. Come forward, swing. Bring it up top, meet that other hand. I'm holding on to the edge of the handle so that I have room to grab it with the other hand. Good. Abs are nice and tight. Let's get one more on each side. And last one. Bring it down into our reverse lunge. Here we go. Down and curl. Squeezing that bicep, keeping that elbow nice and still underneath the shoulder. Down, up, and down, up. All right, we're going to transition into a new set. Feet out nice and wide. We're going to place that bell down, switch and pick it up with the other hand, place it down on the other side. Keep that moving. Side, replace, pick it up. Pick it up. We've got two more to each side. So again, with a dumbbell, this is a little bit trickier because you got to go down further to pick it up. All right, two hands swing. Come to the center. Pop it up in front. Squeeze the glutes. Push your hips forward as you're swinging. We've got four, three, two, and one. Bring it in 
into the center. Bring those toes out a little bit. We're going to go down, down, and up, up, down. Little pulse, up, and up, down, down, up, and up, down, down, up. We got two more here. Down, down, up, and up. Last one. All right, we're going to rotate those feet to the front again. Put that weight down. Switch hands. Pick it up. Down the other side. Switch hands. Pick it up. Down. Pick it up. Good. Nice flat back when you do this. Scoot your glutes back. All the weight in the heel of that knee that you're bending and putting that weight in front of. One more each side. Last one. All right. Both hands on it. Swing forward. Good. Pop the hips. Squeeze the glutes. We've got four, three, two, Last one, bring it in. Sink those feet down, toes out. Stay there. We're going through the middle, figure eights, around each leg. This is three. There's four. That's five, we've got one more. And six. All right, come on up. You can take a quick break, grab a drink. We're gonna switch over to a new set. So, whew. all right. Let me show you the moves quickly, then we'll get into it. We're going to start with what is called a chopper. So that's coming out and up and down, out and up the other side and down. We're then going to go into some halos, which is up around the head, up around the head, getting a little movement in the torso as we do that. And then we will have some knee pulls. All right. So let's start with some choppers. Hands to the hips. Rotate as we go out and up. Up, bring it down, up and down. Rotate on that back foot, up and down. Keep it going. And last one. All right, come to the center, eight halos. We're gonna switch directions, so up and around and pause. Other direction, up and around, pause. Other direction, that's four. We've got four more here. Four, three, two, last one. Knee pulls, pull in and out. Two, keep this leg bent. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Back to our choppers. Out and up, down, crosses two, down, three, and down, four, and down, five, and down, six, abs nice and tight, seven, last one, back to our halos, up and around in the center for one, up and around for two, up and around is three, up and around, four. Really throw those elbows up there, five. Get a little rock in the torso, six, seven, and eight. We have knee pulls on the other side this time. Pull in and out, in and out. Three, four, five. Weight in the heel of that foot, six, seven, and eight, we go back to our choppers. Out and up and down. Out and up and down. Good. Three. Really control that drop. Keep those abs nice and tight. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. We're going to go into our halos. Up and around. Center. Two. Make sure you're holding that bell nice and tight. Three, or dumbbell. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. We have knee pulls, four on each side. In and out. Squeezing the abs as you pull that knee up. Here's four, 
We're going to switch to the other side. Pull. One, two, three, and four. All right, we're going to go into some different moves. We're going to do a reverse rocket recover. So we're going to step back and forward. Back and forward. I'm going to show you from the side. Bend that knee a little bit. Back and forward. I'm picking up that front foot just for a second, putting all the weight in the toe of that back foot. And one more. Let's bring it forward. On the heel. On the heel. I'll show you from the side again. I'm bending, picking up that back foot. Here's five, six, seven, and eight. Butt kicks and bicep curls right here. So it's not a complete full move with that curl. It's nice and quick. Abs are tight. We're standing tall. Nice wide stance. And last one. Back to our reverses. Reverse together. Reverse. Again, keep that back foot bent. I keep the heel off the floor. That's four, five, six, seven, and eight. Bring it forward onto your heel, onto your heel. Three, four, five, six, seven. Last one, butt kick bicep curls. Up. Good. Four and four. Five and five. Six. Good. Bend that knee up there. Eight. And we set, end with reverses. Back and back. Two. sets this time, and last one each side. All right, take another quick little break as we get ready to go into our next round. We're going to start with a lot of upper body move, and we're going to do a bunch of lower body moves. So starting with a top half bicep curl, so we're going to stay at the top. I like to loop my hand through for that one, top half curl. Then we're going to do the other side. Then we'll do lateral raise. And then we will do some rowing. All right? So we're going to switch from one thing to the next, one thing to the next. All right. So let's stand up nice and tall. Start at that halfway point. We're going to do eight top half bicep curls. So it's right here. One. Nice and controlled. Squeeze. Two. Three. Notice how still my elbow is. Four. Control, squeeze, five, six, seven, body nice and still, eight. All right, switch that over to the other side. Same thing, one, two, three, four, five, six, squeeze, seven, and eight. All right. We're going to switch back over again. This time that arm is going up and out. Elbow up to shoulder height and down for one. Up. Two. Three. Four. Keeping at that 90 degrees. Five. Six. Seven. And eight, we're going to switch over to the other side. Same thing, out and up for one. Two, really squeezing the shoulder. Three, four, stopping at shoulder height. Five, nice, that's it, keep it going. Six, these are tough. Seven, last one. All right, we're going to switch back over. I'm going to grab onto the hand, a little bend, a little hinge. I'm going to row, so... I'm really squeezing my back as I pull that elbow up. Three. A little pause at the top. Four. Five. Six. Seven. And eight. Come down and switch to the other side. A little bend, a little hinge, weight in your heels. One. Two. Three. Four. Try not to 
to rotate the shoulders, just pull up that elbow. Five, six, seven, and eight. All right, we're going to go back to bicep curls. We're going to do bottom half. So starting at that halfway point, down and pull it up for one. Two, squeezing, elbow nice and still. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're going to switch that over to the other side and squeeze for one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, little pause right there, and eight. All right, we're going back to that lateral raise, elbow out and up, and down. That's one. Stand nice and tall, abs are tight. Two, little pause right there. Three, oh, feel that muscle working. Four, five. Seven and eight. We're going to switch that over to the other side. Same thing. One, two, three, four. Stop at shoulder height. Five, six. Throw that elbow out there. Seven and eight. All right. Going back to side one. Little bend, little hinge. We're going to row again. One, two, three, four. Weight in your heels. A little bend in the knees. Nice flat back. Six, seven, and eight. Let's switch it over to the other side. Bend and hinge. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. All right, done with that section up, and we're now going to go right into some lower moves. So we're going to take a step back. We're going to go down in pulses four times. Here we go. It's down, two, three, push it up. Down, two, three, push it up. Down, two, three, up. Last one, down, two, Three, up. I want you to hinge forward a little bit, lifting that back foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to come over to the other side. Start with that down for one, two, three. Push it up. One, two, three. Push it up. One, two, three, and up. One more. One, two, three. Up. Little lean forward. Lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring those feet out wide. We're going to come side and tap as one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. First side, reverse lunges. Down, two, three, push it up. Down, two, three, push it up. Down, two, three, push it up. Last one, two, three. Hinge forward. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, squeeze the glute. Eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side, down we go. One, two, three, push it up. Down, two, three, two more. Down, two, three, push it up. Down, two, three, hinge forward. Lift, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, 
One, feet out wide. Side, tap, side, tap. Point in that toe, tapping it out there. Three, two, last one. All right, take a little break. Grab a drink if you need it. Going into our next one. Whew. So we have a little bit of abs in this one. We have some shoulder work in this one. And we will do some other shoulder work in this one. All right, so we're gonna start with a cross punch to overhead. So loop your hand through that, or if you have a dumbbell, you're just holding it. We're gonna do a cross punch and then an overhead. We have four on each side. Cross, bring it in, elbow goes down, we go up. Cross, in, and up. Cross, abs nice and tight. If the weight gets to be too heavy doing this, just put it down. Other side, switching. We're gonna go cross, and up. Cross, and up. Two more, cross, and up, last one, cross, and up, good. Bring it down to the side, pulses, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and switch, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lifting that weight up to the side, both arms up, bring them in the front, holding it with both to come down. Now switch, lift it on the other side. Forward and down. Again, this is a tough one if that weight is too heavy. Just put it down, you're still doing a lot of good without a weight in your hands. Abs are nice and tight, especially coming in front and down. All right, we're going back to that cross punch overhead. So cross and up, cross and up. Good, two more on this side. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna switch and bring that same move to the other side, cross and up. If you're wearing a watch, a Fitbit, an Apple watch, you might wanna protect it when you put the kettlebell in this position. I have mine leaning on my wrist, so my watch is just below it, and up. All right, bring that to the side. We have one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're gonna lift up and out. Bring those arms together and down. Other side, up and out, together and down. Up we go. Abs nice and tight, protecting that back, up together and down. All right, we're gonna finish right here with a little side to side. So lifting that shoulder as we're hinging ourselves side to side. I always say keep your shoulders out of your ears. This time we're putting that shoulder up towards that ear on purpose, side to side, side to side. And last one. All right, quick little rest here. We're gonna come into a new format. Just wanna make sure that's not in my way. So we're gonna do some side taps and we're gonna swing that weight side to side. So I'm not twisting my body, I'm just swinging, letting my arms go side to side with a little tap. Then we're gonna come forward, twisting and kind of a high knee, four forward, four back, and then we're gonna do a reverse lunge under the knee, okay? Now again, if you're using a dumbbell, you gotta really hold on out to the side so that you have room to reach it. Same thing with the kettlebell. I'm gonna hold the side so that I have room to be able to lift that up. All right, let's start with that little side step swing of the weight. We're coming side. Good. Swing that weight, tap the heel, or tap the toe. All right, last one, bring it forward. It's one, two, three, four, and back. Two, three, four, forward. Two, three, four, and back. Two, three, four. Two more times. And back. Forward. And back. We're going back and under. Under and 
up. Make sure you got enough room behind you to step back, under and up, under and up, under and up. One more each, under, and last one. Come on up, side. Here's two, three, four. Good, take a nice wide step, six, seven, eight, bring it forward. One, two, three, four, and back. Forward, and back. Forward, and back. One more time, forward, and back. We're gonna step back, under, and up. Two, three, and four, five, six, seven, back up to the top, side tap, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, bring it forward, one, two, three, four, and back. Bring it up. And up. That's four. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Tap one more time. Side to side. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Bring it forward. One, two, three, four, and back. Forward, and back. Forward, and back. One more time. Forward, and back. Reverse lunge under the knee. Under, and up. Try to keep the chest up as much as you can on this one. And four, five, six, seven, and eight. All right, done with that one. Let's take a quick little break here. We got two left and then our cool down. So we have a lot of uh, upper body movement and a little bit of length in the next one. And then the last one is the one where we're gonna use the chair. All right, so we're gonna start with a single side up, upright row. So the important thing is to think of a track coming from your thigh right up to your chest and that elbow is staying just above your hand. We're gonna do one side eight and the other side eight. Then we're going to do a tricep kickback here. You can either grasp basket holes through there or you can hold on to the handle. We'll do one side and then the other side. And then we're going to combine some. So we're going to do a deadlift and an upright row. And then we're going to do triceps up over the head. A little bit trickier. We will go through that two times. All right. Starting with that single upright row. Bringing that weight right in front. And here we go. Up. And down. Nice and controlled. It's not about going fast here, especially because we don't have to keep up with the beat of the music. And four, five, six, seven, and eight. We're going to switch to the other side. Same thing. Pull it up for one. And two, three. There's four. Hinge forward, flat back, slight 
bend in the knees, and then bring that all the way up to that upright row. Hinge, and up. That's two. Hinge. I bring my hands right to under my chin. My elbows are up higher than that. And up. Hinge. That's five. Keep a straight back here. You should feel this in the back of your legs. Six. Push through your heels on the way up. And eight. All right. Grab that bell from underneath or the sides of your dumbbell. Press up. Bend behind. Up and down. Up, behind, up and down. That's two. Up, bend. Try to keep those elbows in close. There's three. Up, back, up, down for four. Two more here. Up, back, up, and we're going to six. Up, back, up, and down. All right, we're starting over four reps of each. So one, two, three, and four. Switch into the other side. One, two, nice and controlled in both directions. Three, and four. Tricep kick back. Push it back for one, two, three, and four, other side, same thing. Press back for one, two, three, and four. Two hands on your weight, hinging forward, up and up. Legs just have a slight bend because you're hinging from the waist. Two, push through your heels, three, hinging, and up. For four, all right, grab that weight. We're pushing it up, back, up, bring it down. We're gonna do four here. Up, back, push the ceiling, then bring it down. Up, back, up. Last one. Up, back, up, and down. All right, go ahead and grab a drink, and we're gonna grab your chair next. So last set, and then we'll do our stretching. All right, so with your chair, let me show you the moves first. I'm gonna show you from an angle so you can see when my back is touching the chair and when it is not. So heels are gonna be out in front to start. We're gonna hinge ourselves back, but nice straight line here so you're engaging those abs in this position. We're gonna do a chest press up. As we bring our hands down, we're gonna sit ourselves up at the same time, press out, bring it in, and sit back. So it's up, down, out, and in. As we come in, we start to go back into sitting back. One of our other moves is we are gonna be here. Now you could be touching your shoulders or you can go halfway, and we're gonna do some leg lifts, really focusing on the abs there. Nice straight leg lift. We have 16 at a time of those, all right? Then we're going to come up, bring those legs in, and we're going to have some rotating leg lifts. All right? This is tough, and I'm sure you're probably a little bit tired from doing all of the other stuff, but just stay with me through this. Get through this. You're really going to like it. It's really, um, it's really a nice ab workout to finish things off. All right. Heels out. Let's lean back. We're going to start by pushing up, sitting up, and pushing forward. Here we go. It's up down, out, and in. Up, down, out, and in. Up, down, out, and in. One more. Up, down, out. Lean back halfway, or you can let your shoulder touch. One, two, three, four, five. Really pull here. Six, seven, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, one. Pull those feet in. Twist and lift that knee. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Feet back out. Six this time. Up, down, out, and in. Up, down, out and in. 
Nice slap back, really squeeze those abs. Here's four, two more, five, and six. Lean back, halfway and lift. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Really feel it in those abs. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Bring the feet in. Lift and twist. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time from the top. It's up, down, out, and in. Up, down, out, and in. Up, down, out. Three more. Up, down, out, and in. Two. Last one. Up, down, out. Hinge back and lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You got this. Battle it with me. Last one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And done. Whew. All right. Take a moment to put your weight off to the side, put your chair off to the side, and we will start our stretch. Stretch, exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. All right. Little hinge to the side. Bring that arm up and over. Hold there. And bring that down. Let's stretch other side. Oh, yeah. All right, come on up. We're going to put ourselves into that split stance and now roll the hips forward. Get that hip flexor stretch. Woo! Good job, everyone. That's a tough workout. I hope that you enjoyed it. Push that heel down and hinge forward. A lot of strength work there. We get that cardio up just a little bit in a couple of them. But we hit everything on that boy. You got every single part of your body part we getting used there. All right, we're gonna rock back on that front heel and then come forward towards the toe, stretching the back of that leg. Nice flat back here. If you come down here, you don't feel it as much. Pull those shoulders back and you will feel that stretch in the back of your leg. All right, let's go to the other side. Roll the hips forward first, feeling that hip flexor stretch. Go ahead and push that heel down, straighten that back leg and hinge forward. You want to feel this in your calf. All right, rock back on that heel and then hinge forward towards your toe. All right, come on up, toes facing forward, feet out nice and wide. Come on over to the side, little hinge forward. Hold it there. And let's bring it over to the other side. All right, reach those arms out in front, flat back, straight legs, reach, reach, reach. And then let your arms hang down. Keep your head above your heart here. Get those toes out and bend the knees. Roll that shoulder forward. Other side. And roll yourself up. Bring your feet in underneath your hips. Open those arms out nice and wide. Open the chest, squeeze the 
shoulders. Bring those hands together. Palms out, head down, separate your shoulder blades. We're going to come across, shoulder down. And other side, across, shoulder down. All right, reach that hand up towards the ceiling. Bend the elbow, give a little tug. We've got to stretch those triceps. We worked them hard today a couple times. A couple different ways. And reach that other hand up. Give a tug. And bring those arms all the way down. You are done. Thank you so much for joining me for Kettlebell for Seniors. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope to see you back here real soon to do some of this again or to do some of my other workouts. Have a nice day, everyone.